The tutorial you're about to watch is from the Lightroom Organization and Workflow Workshop, which is part of the SR Lounge Lightroom Workshop Collection. This workshop on DVD starts from the ground up with Lightroom file management, organization, and helps photographers to master a full professional post-production workflow. The workshop includes over 70 high-definition videos, and it totals nearly eight hours of uninterrupted education. Also included are 70 raw image exercise files and our workflow guide and checklist. Designed for Lightroom 4 and Lightroom 5 users, you can learn more or purchase this workshop from the SR Lounge store by clicking the link below in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we dive into Lightroom, let's spend a few minutes just to understand Lightroom's catalog approach to image management and development. And to do this, we're going to discuss three important facets to understanding how the Lightroom catalog system works. Now, number one, as we mentioned before, changes that are made to each image, they're stored within Lightroom's catalog file and not within the images themselves. This means that when you import your images into Lightroom, Lightroom doesn't store the images themselves in the catalog, but rather it's just referencing the location of those images that have been imported into your selected catalog. From a file manager perspective, this is extremely important to understand. Why? Well, because Lightroom is referencing the names and locations of imported images on the hard drive. If we were to move those images to say a different folder, if we were to change those names outside of Lightroom, it's going to break all those references. And in other words, Lightroom will essentially lose those files, which will cause them to go missing in your catalog. For this reason, we highly recommend that you store your images within the same parent folder of the Lightroom catalog itself. That way, if or when you need to move a catalog from say one hard drive to another hard drive or one computer to the next, the images along with the catalog for those images are transferred together. There are no image references that are going to basically break in the process. And you can imagine how easy it would be to lose images if the catalog and the images are stored in separate locations. Moving on now to number two, since the only information that's being stored within the Lightroom catalog are changes to the images from attributes to metadata, develop setting and so forth, Using Lightroom's built-in catalog backup function is only backing up the actual catalog file and not the images themselves. Many people, they're under the false assumption that backing up the catalog is going to back up their images as well, and this is not the case. At all times, we recommend that photographers maintain multiple backups of your images just to ensure that nothing is ever lost if a hard drive were to fail, and this actually happens quite often, unfortunately. So make sure that you back up your images independent of backing up the actual catalog file. Number three, each individual Lightroom catalog is completely independent from one another. And at the present time in Lightroom 4 and Lightroom 5, you can only have one catalog file open at a time. This means that if you stored travel photos in say a travel photo catalog and family photos in a family photo catalog, you can only have access to one of those catalogs at one time. So basically if you are in the travel catalog or I think the travel catalog was over here, you're not going to be able to access the family photos until you actually open the family catalog and you need to close the travel catalog in the process. Because of this fact, a major question that photographers have in regards to the catalog and their workflow system is should I have a catalog for every Every single shoot or one for each year or just one catalog for every image that I ever shot in my entire life or so forth. Now there's no simple answer to this question and we're going to actually go ahead and move to the next video to discuss it in a bit more detail.